All right, we're live. Go. Hello, America. Hello. Welcome to another episode of Camping Corner. Did Guru say we're episode 30? 30. 30? Oh, 30, oh 31. 31. The senior executive vice president, grip, key grip, boom operator. Music writer. Composer. <laughs> says episode, episode 31. 31. Nice. We broke the 30 mark. So, of course, what's the buzz? Uh, the buzz is 31 episodes. We've been on, we have been on the air a lot longer than some of the garbage TV shows that have been on. Yeah. We could probably make, ooh, we, no, I shouldn't. I'm not going to make any requests. Dan. <laughs> I was going to say, this show could get canceled real easy. <laughs> I'll keep my mouth shut until we get to further episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love like w- there's a sh- there's a TV show that you start watching and you're like hey this is pretty good and then like without notice it just never comes back on the air. Again. Last Man on Earth. <laughs> that was such a. I love that show. I like that show. And it just poof. It just gone. disappeared. And they yeah, yeah. They, they left it at the point where he was found that you know found other people yeah. and all yeah. that you know and and. Nope done. 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 We I, yeah my wife and I loved that show too it was hysterical. Yeah. I that. Will, Will, fun, what the heck? That was not name? Will Ferrell. No. no, I don't remember his name. But Look it up, Greer. Last Man on Earth, who was the star of that? Will something. She's on it. And the, the girl that was his wife. Yeah, Carol. Yes. <laughs> you know, because the reality is he did all the stuff that, if you were the la- thought you were the last person on Earth, yeah. wouldn't you yeah. do? Yeah. I mean, Will Forte? Will Forte. See, I was close. She's like, he's not Will Ferrell. Yeah, Will Forte. <laughs> the All right, let's get going. He took the Prevo motorhome and went to the White House and stole stuff out. I don't know why he just didn't move into the White House. I would have. Why not? He like D.C. The weather's not that nice, though. Right. Yeah, true. Here All right, right, on with the show. On with uh, what's the buzz. The show must go on. <laughs> what's the buzz? The closer you get to nature, Tony, the further you are from idiots. <laughs> That is so something I would say. I don't know, though. Well, yeah, I mean, some campgrounds, though, you run into them. <laughs> but you can just go in your camper, shut the door, yeah. drink a few beers, cope with it better. <laughs> the good thing is at some campgrounds, they just quit showing up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Their camper's still there. You develop your group of people <laughs> that you're comfortable with. Those people stop showing up because of the idiots. <laughs> that, that very well could be. <laughs> So, I, might, I might be a card-carrying member. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Junior executive vice president. See, Wadi, I thought he was going to wad that up to throw it at you. I was going to, but I was afraid that, you know, it would scare everybody at home. <laughs> or you'd take the camera out. We got some super cool pictures shared. Yes. Which is awesome. We yes. love seeing that stuff. So we got this hideout shared with us. Love the campsite, love the setup. So, did they hook up to it when obviously that's in our parking lot? So, did they hook up to it and that was their first camping trip? That's they didn't say, but I mean, I would think it's a pretty so. Pretty logical conclusion. Yeah, but you've got quite the setup. It looks good. Yep. And if they've been, I, I would think they've been camping for a little while. Otherwise, if if it's if they haven't been camping, if that's really their first time out and their first time campers, man, they did some research because they've got a heck of a setup right, right there. Right. Got the cornhole. And have it all set up. Yep. Together. I agree. This one I think we showed last week or the week before. Last week, the hideout in Montana. Yep. We did. We did. But still super cool. These are all just as a reminder. These are all photos from that contest we ran. That's and right. we, we do have the winner picked. You guys had input in that. We'll announce that here shortly. But these are all, and they were, you guys will attest to this. They were all great. We just had to pick one that's going to be our Facebook header for the month of September. So. Yeah, if we could choose everybody as a winner, we would. But we can't for the contest. Well, I'm thinking that we had some really good ones. So we may continue this through... October, November, December, picking some more of these and let them be our header for the month because they're just really cool. I and like it's it. great seeing them out in the out in their natural habitat. Yes, out in the wild. 
<laughs> Him and his impressions. <laughs> so we've got a few more hideouts in the next picture. We know that one belongs to the bakers because your lovely sign in the front. Yep. But. And we don't know who the other two are, but they're super cool. Yeah. Our parking lot and then under some trees at the campground. Then you've got uh, Steamboat RV Park in Jenison, Michigan. Yep. So it says five couples, four bought cougars from Walnut Ridge. So you'll see all four cougars in the picture. wonder if that was planned or just if that was... Hey, look. Look, and their campsite's right along the water. That yeah, looks like a nice campground. It yep. does. Yeah. It really does. There you go, Tony. A puma. <laughs> At Lake Rudolph. So did they go to Holiday World too? Because that's where Lake Rudolph is, isn't it? That campground? If I heard that noise in the wild while I was hiking, <laughs> I think I would go to the poor distressed animal and see if it gets put out of its misery, not run from it. <laughs> It's, this, a, fa it's Dan, a family show. I don't. I didn't want to put anything like too terrifying in. Dan said, "This animal needs help. <laughs> <laughs> Seems distressed." So is Lake Rudolph really at Holiday, Holiday World? Uh -huh. Is there a like Lake Prancer and Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner? And no, Vixen? but you know what? I feel like they should open up more campgrounds because that's the downfall to Holiday World is there's not a lot of places yeah. to stay to go to that theme park. Yeah. So, marketing idea. So, say. you're you're on spot Vixen 3. <laughs> kind of like when you used to go, growing up, you used to go to, to uh, King's Island. You're like Scooby-Doo 5. We're in Scooby-Doo 5. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It's not yeah. anymore now that. Yeah. Now it's just row A6. Yeah, it's, no, it's not fun. You ain't getting A6. You'd be more like Z59. Yeah. What time's the trolley come to pick us up right. and take us to the front door? Enjoy the trolley ride, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, my and you goodness. always had to park there when I was growing up. Like, we never bought food at the park. You always took yeah, a no. cooler. Yep. Yeah. And then, well, at lunchtime, we'll walk out to the parking lot. It's 11 miles out to the car. You're going to work up some hunger by the time you get out to the uh, car. <laughs> by the time you get back, it's time for the fireworks. <laughs> so. Uh, this is our campground. This is our campground. Yeah. This is, uh, this is my friends, uh, Megan and Bailey. Uh, kind of a shameless little plug for for their business yeah, it's right a now. Bit of <laughs> but you know, <laughs> hey, but uh, beautiful Montana, great young couple. Uh, hey, Daxton. Uh, so they've got a cute little boy. I named wonder Daxton. who I should call for my roofing needs, guys. Yeah. They've got the cutest little boy named Daxton, and he rides around on the campground on a Tomator Power Wheels. Nice. I love the name Daxton. That's cute. He's cool. Another cougar <laughs> set up. Look at that, tucked back in the woods. Yeah, kind of back in the middle of no place. Yeah, it doesn't even look like they have neighbors. The good thing is, they brought the heartbeat of America with them. <laughs> Just saying. So next, Tony, the winner, winner, chicken dinner. Woo! <laughs> Hootie hoo! So this was the winner for the photo contest, and it's Keely Hendricks at Salamone Lake with their new Hideout 186. What a great spot. It's gorgeous on the water. You know, just after the sunset. I mean, it, it's... It, admittedly, that picture realistically could be used by go GoRVing.com mm -hmm. as the cover page for... Oh, yeah. You know, any of their advertisements because that... I mean, they, they've got the fire going, you know... That says peace and tranquility. I feel relaxed just looking at the picture. I do too. Right? right? Definitely, definitely. <laughs> yeah. So they'll be our Facebook header photo starting the 1st of September through the month of September. Nice. And like I said, I think we'll pick some of these other ones and maybe do them in October, November, December. But yeah, yeah this one was just, this one screams relax. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So keep, keep, please keep sending those pictures yes. in, you know. We're getting to some of that great camping. And, and realistically, as we get later into the season and the leaves start to change. 
Oh, there's gonna be some pretty pictures. Oh yeah, there'll be oh, some yeah. some pretty pretty pictures. Absolutely. So. So next, around the web. Around the web. Again, we theme music. Mm-hmm. Right there it is. I just need to record mm-hmm. Mallory, around and that's the gonna web. be the theme music. <laughs> around the web. <laughs> With a different dance for each segment. <laughs> Join us for What's the Buzz? Oh, that'd be, okay. We would turn, like, we appease the kids, right? You know, get them involved. I'm okay. I have kids. I don't know. If I enjoy embarrassing you guys. You know. you know what? But How about this? Let's get our viewers to send in clips for the intros to segments. Okay. Well, that could be fun. Matthias Ritter, I want you to send in a clip for um, what the what. <laughs> so record yourself doing an intro for what the what. America, everybody else send in an intro to, you know you know the clips. Yeah. Around the web, what's the buzz, what the what, uh, who sold it better. So, you know, be part of the show. It'd be fun. Yeah. I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be hell of hysterical. So we got Lynn Lintz, s'mores, but always a good day when s'mores are happening. Lynn's like my spirit animal. We yeah. try to pick a s'more every episode for you. I, do, I really appreciate it. And I don't know, that's one of those Keebler cookies yeah. I take. I yeah. don't know what it is, but it's one of those Keebler cookies. Yep. I love it. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. Third grade teacher decorated her door in a hallway as a camper. How cute is that? <laughs> that's su- it, that's super cool. It's really creative. It is. It is. It's very creative. I feel like if my kid's teacher did that right now, they would hate it, though, since we're living in the camper. You know what I mean? Like, they'd go to school, they'd be like, dang it. Not this again. Not again. First we're homeless, <clears throat> now... Yeah, Kinsey, my daughter, loves to tell people that we're homeless, so that's fun. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, Terrell Glover just wanted to to share how cool this is. Can you imagine the dry weight? Maybe get some interior decorating tips from this. This is just slide upon slides. There's so many slides. I don't know how you would pull that anywhere. I really don't. It would have to be a Ford, for one. <laughs> but I think it might have to be one of those Ford 750s. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably a full-on semi-trailer. I don't know if it is, but I had read an article someplace. Will Smith. This one isn't his. He, he, has he does have. Trailer. Will Smith yeah. has a semi-trailer. Uh-huh. Yeah. Trailer. It, Raises, raises up, up to the second story yes. and it's yeah. all glass. That's right. Because didn't we show it on the yes. show one Did time? Yes. Yeah. I want to click on the more pictures. You know what I mean? We'll click on it. Just click away. Just click on it. <laughs> we'll wait. We'll, yeah, we'll see how long this takes you, Mallory. It's like an, a, you're, you're doing like the Amish scrolling. <laughs> okay, so Gadget Corner is going to be a little different this week. I'm throwing a curveball at you guys. Curveball. Okay. Each one of you needs to describe why you need this product for your camper. We're going to start with Mallory. So what is it and why do you need it, Mallory? Okay. So, Furion observation camera. Well, I mean, let's just be honest. Just backing the trailer up. This thing is amazing, right? Saves you for fights. We've talked about that. I even had a couple the other day come in and notice that the prep on the back of a camper for a rear view, like a backup camera, and she was like, oh, this would save us from so many fights. And I was like, amen, right? Like, am I right? That's that's my sole reason for needing this. Just so I don't have to fight with my husband. I, I feel like that's strong. What do you got, Tony? So most definitely, number one, it is a marriage saver. You know. The husband's not mad at the wife because he backed the camper into something when she was yelling stop the whole time and went ahead and did it anyway. Um, and, and I'll tell you a funny story with a picture that goes along with that here in a second. The other thing is people forget about the fact that it's an observation camera, which means 
unfortunately, sometimes to get to the destination where we want to get to and really relax, we have to travel through some of or through or bypass around some major cities. So it gives you the capability that unlike a backup camera on your automobile that goes off when you put it in drive, this can be on at any time. So now you have a rear view camera mm -hmm. so you can see what's behind you when you're navigating traffic around 465 or you know around Chicago or anything like that to make sure you're not going to run over anybody. Yeah, and this one is motion sensor too, which is nice because it's good. So, and I, I feel like you guys are the experts, correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like the vast majority of at least units we have on the lot are already backup camera prepped. or observation camera prepped. You right. just pop that bad boy in there and you're yep. good to go. Yep. 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 Absolutely. Choose what size monitor you want. Yep. Okay. So last la uh, last year I was taking a sign language class, so I have started following a, a deaf RV group uh, on Facebook, and a couple weeks ago there was a picture. Uh, that one of the deaf RVers had posted about the hassles of being a deaf RVer and they had actually shared a picture of them where they had backed their trailer into a to a tree because of course they're they're deaf so there's not like right there's no right. yelling back and forth right. and you know there were several comments that hey you know a, a rear observation camera would have went you know, a long way in that in that particular situation, but I thought it was pretty cool. So, you know, very usable in multiple different situations for multiple different things. Definitely. Great job, you two. Put you on the spot and you handled it like pros. Champs. What the what? What? The what? In a couple episodes, we'll have my friend Matthias Ritter doing the intro to what the what. <laughs> You better bring his A game, though. I feel like Matthias is maybe giving you ideas before no. for the fact that you want him to do. No. Oh, okay. But I, I, and you know, I don't know that Matthias has an A game anymore. B plus, maybe. No, that's fine. <laughs> you know. Based off of your ability on the show, we'll hand, we'll settle for a D minus. Hey. Oh my you know. <laughs> well, when you've got a show that's edited by monkeys, you always get it looking like that. <laughs> I just put the same level into editing that you put into shooting. <laughs> it's getting very hostile up in here, guys. <laughs> love you, Tony. Yeah, there's nothing but mad love between these two. Dan and I really are friends. <laughs> they really do like each other outside of the show. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, first one. <laughs> I feel like, I like that the one's waving, you know, the one that's inside, like, she's having a good old time waving at people. One of them, uh, the, the two outside are holding on, but the one's smoking, she's like, I I can't, I'm just going to hold on with my elbow because I'm, I'm not putting my Marlboro down. <laughs> it probably sounds more along the lines of, I'm holding on with my arm. <laughs> I feel like this was like a float. <coughs> a float? That's just what comes to my head. So it's a float. Well. Well, especially with the one in there waving. Yeah. yeah. She's all into it, too. We're not throwing candy this year, kids. Here's a pack of Lucky Strikes. Have a nice day. <laughs> She's probably throwing out her pre-smoked ones, you know. <laughs> but I, they got, I like the little flower pots hanging on each yeah. side, though. I mean, there's a lot of decor in here. Yeah. <laughs> we are so lost. Well, me. I'm so well, yeah, there's, there's no we. <laughs> Jesus loves me. Everyone else thinks. Everybody else questions. Beep. <laughs> I, okay. I don't really even know where to begin with this thing. It's a bike. Yeah, I'm 100% <laughs> sure that there's no relaxation in that at all. <laughs> You're gonna be exhausted by the time you pedal this I guess stinking the, thing. I guess the good thing is if you pass out from exertion, <laughs> you know, you're just already in the camper. <laughs> yeah, you just literally lay back from your yeah. seat and you're there and done. No setup required. Nope. <laughs> but notice that the front glass, the windshield is geometrically designed for aerodynamics. Somebody went. <laughs> I think this is aerodynamic as I possibly can. Cuts right into the wind. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh my goodness gracious. Is this like a Disney float? What is this? That's what it reminds me of. It's not as cheery though. Like maybe they're Halloween. I feel like they really embrace the whole steampunk. Yeah, it's got the... like a steampunk yeah. feel. I like the giant spotlight on the front. This reminds me of the, really reminds me of the Robin, uh, when Robin Williams played Popeye. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The, the little town that, that. Yeah. And what Shirley Duvall was olive oil. Such a good movie. I mean, it's, it's really cool. There's a lot to it. See, I'm always curious on the inside. Not so much on the bike one, but this one. Yeah. I mean, it's it's got I mean it's got its cool things. Obviously the two big, you know, air scoops up there are not the most aerodynamic. No. But <laughs> Oh, there's a lot going on with this one. You're not fitting under any bridges with that. I think that's a pop up. But the door, how I I guess it could be. Yeah, it could be like a pop-up where it unhinges and hooks to the ceiling of it. Yeah, true. I would hope so, or else you're really not traveling too far. We're eating on the sky deck tonight, kids. <laughs> well, they've done a good job with the weight distribution because they have that pop-up up towards the front, and then they have that smaller pop-up right. in the back. Right. So, I mean... And it's got a for sale sign on it. Is that a for sale sign? I think so. I think that or beware of dog, maybe. You know I'm, I'm going to go with for sale. Tony, you know you want to buy it. Of course, it's on the heartbeat of America. It's on a it's GM on a, dually. It's a dually. They got a 454 in it. <laughs> 450 more. So, who sold it better? We have a submission from a Ronald Shepard. Uh, for who sold it better today, he would like Tony to choose A. Did So did Mr. Shepard send in something? Yes, he sent in A and B. He said, oh, so tell people uh, they're more than welcome to submit pictures for what they want and who, uh, who sold it better. I like this. Because it's a then great you, idea. Because then you definitely can't say that it's rigged because the viewers chose the picture. They chose who sold better. Who sells He's what? He's probably going to think that I reached out to Ronald ahead of time and said, make Tony pick A, yeah. blah, 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 blah. I'm kind of afraid what Ron sent in, actually. I'm going to look at what Ron <laughs> I'm said. nervous. I'm going to look at All that. right, so here we go. Who sold it better? Tony, you got A, buddy. All right, Valerie, you can go first with B. Okay. You get B. B. Like the little monkey wrench. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, the good news is you've got the is that full. Me? Yeah, that's good. Okay. You've got that's the full sure. package. This comes with the truck and the camper. Can't guarantee the truck's gonna work or run. It's but a, it's a Ford. I mean. You give them both a good washing. You know, this is fine. Trim the weeds down. Wash it. Wash it. Wash it. I guarantee whoever owns this would say wash. Oh, yeah, definitely. Hands down, wash it. But this is a nice, I mean, the whole setup, you got the truck and the fifth wheel. It's a very large fifth wheel, so it's very spacious on the inside. I mean, look at that. Your bedroom, which is probably up in the front, is going to be pretty big. High ceilings. You're not going to bump your head. Some ni- you probably have some nice teal carpet in this, or like that seafoam green. You could almost guarantee that. Is it there? And the little trim has got like roses in it. Oh yeah. It could have it could have the rose like that rose colored pinkish carpet in it. Yeah. That's about the air. Yeah. This is one that you would find on Facebook Marketplace that they would be selling and they would want like fifteen thousand dollars for right. it. Right. For the pair. And they would say that they they just used it a couple weeks ago. Yes. Oh no, everything works. We just used it a couple yeah. weeks. Yeah. It runs well. Yeah. <laughs> we use it like ten times a year. <laughs> All right. Mm. <laughs> Come on, Ron. Who did you give me? <laughs> oh, B. Look, I got a B. <laughs> Good thing I'm not allergic to bees because I just had one. 
Oh, dude, come on. <laughs> so here's the cool thing about it, I guess, uh, most importantly is, you know, putting a roof on an RV can be an extremely expensive repair. So th being forward thinking, this, this roof can be replaced at any point, at any time, for around $25 from your local hard hardware store. All you need is a new tarp and some more bungee cords because the bungee cords are going to wear out. But it does have a tag axle so the back end doesn't drag when you go across. And for ease of entrance and exit when you get to the gas station, um, which based on the year of this, it's either a Ford chassis with a 460 or a Chevy 454, which would mean it's got a head gasket leak and it gets four mile to the gallon. You'll be stopping at the gas station fairly often so you can get in and out of the driver's door rather than tracking all the way through because there's nothing worse than stepping in, you know, gasoline or diesel fuel at the pump and you walk on it and then you walk back in your RV and now, now you know, it just smells. I mean, you cannot have those kind of smells in that kind of beauty right there. <laughs> it's important to know that he said this was at a campground. He took this picture oh, my at goodness. a campground and it is hooked up, as you can see. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's useful, you know. So. Oh, we're allowed to but, do that? Um, okay, well, then I'm taking a picture. Yeah. Is that the campground you stay in? Nope. Okay. Is that your camper? <laughs> okay. It's my camper, okay? Sorry, Derek. Didn't mean to point out your camper. <laughs> we really liked it until now. But, uh, no, it's, I, you know, it's it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. And it's already at a campground. I know. For your camping convenience. You could Airbnb. I, I, I bet that they, they, you could Airbnb that, and they'll give you a tetanus shot. <laughs> And twelve fifty a night to stay there. What are the things on the side though with writing like that are? They covered up the windows, you know. They don't. With what nobody, pizza boxes? No, I. That's like um, um, one of the brands of like foam board that you put oh, underneath, okay. like around the outside, like a housing wrap. Yeah. It's insulated. Yeah. Windows. The sad thing is my OCD wouldn't let me put it up there upside down. I would have right, to flip it over. I would have had to flip it over yeah. so it's at least correct. I don't think that they're really worried about OCD, though. I'm just going to throw that out there. Well, you know, hey, you never know. Don't judge these people, judgy. <laughs> no, this is this one was my camper. This is me. <laughs> don't be a judgy Judy. It just needs a good warshing. Warshing. So thanks a lot, Ron Shepard, for that uh, lovely piece. That was a super cool idea, though. I love that. And you have now started a trend that each week we're going to have other people send in. Yeah, I like it. I think it's a cool idea. Who sold it better? Yeah, I like it. I owe you one, my friend. <laughs> Thank you. All right, episode 31, that's a wrap. In the books. Spike it. We're done. <laughs> What's my motivation? I'm out of here. Uh, it's always fun with Tony. See you next week. See you guys.